guys, welcome to another YGO Pro deck profile and today we have Artifacts with you here today. You can also check out this uh, deck profile on the Scrub League website via Artifacts. Uh, check it out, it's right over up there. But um, here we go and let's start the deck profile. Artifacts is, it used to be a really good deck when it had three morale tags until you are hit by the ban list. It's still at one. Uh, it might be alright at two if they didn't, but the but this just got released recently, so nothing really changed during the ban list except perform powers and stuff getting hit and stuff. Uh, artifacts didn't really go free with that, so decided to make a uh, pure artifacts deck profile here. Uh, we play free scythe, of course. Scythe's the best one now. It's uh, it's really big. It's 2200. I think it's the one with the biggest attack. That is a decent one. Uh, uh, Labrys is also pretty big. Uh, Labrys is the biggest one, and um, Scythe second biggest, but stops your opponent from going to the extra deck. So during BA matchups or against pendulums, it might be really good. So definitely play free of that. Uh, keep in mind, this is a pure artifacts deck, so we don't have any other decks in the um, uh, any of archetypes in this deck because uh, I'm trying to stay. And keep it a pure artifact deck, it's just because some people don't like playing other decks in artifacts. Um, uh, two Labris, it's a decent card because if it's in your hand, you can spec it from hand when artifacts are destroyed and sent to your graveyard, so you don't have to set this one. And it's also 2 free, as I said. Uh, of course, one Morale Tat, the best artifacts, it's non targeting destruction, it's a massive, it's a it's also got massive 21 attack. And let's play one fail note. This one is similar to Call of the Haunted, but it doesn't really. Uh, summon it, it sets it back to your, uh, it sets back an artifact if you summon this card. So, it's it's good for recycling morale tax and stuff. Uh, you can see we don't play Call of the Haunted because um, we don't like uh, people conserving the MSTs for the Call of the Haunted and they will just chain MST because people don't tend to MST this deck if they know what they're doing. Uh, two Caduceus, the main engine, the draw engine, the plus engine, blah 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 of this deck. Play two, mainly because if you read the text you can only control one artifact, Caduceus. Caduceus, whatever, and two big attacks. Uh, one of the main, main combo cards in this deck. So you summon a pop two of your face down. You usually have at least two. Uh, it's minimum of one, but uh, if you only got one, you just pop one. And two Aegis. It's got the biggest defense, and it's also uh, really good at protecting your artifacts during your opponent's turn. Because sometimes you do it main phase one or main phase two, and they have a regeki then, and then you save yourself from regeki or from the battle phase. Um, uh, it's also got 25 defense for the battle phase, what I'm saying. Uh, we don't play these three, which is Achilles, which is the one that stops your opponent from um, targeting for attacks. Uh, Jackram and Langrenus or Lancia, which is a side deck card if you know in Necros format. And we don't play Artifacts and Leash because it's, uh, it's not that useful um, compared to the other Artifact cards and the other cards in the deck. And of course, we play three card card D. It's the only normal summon monster that you have, and you may as well play plus one monster. And you're really special during your turn anyway, unless if it's mid game, and that's when you exceed quite often. And if not, you you probably got to play these anyway. And play three cards from the sky. You have a lot of fairy monsters, like fairy monsters, so you can just banish them. Three part duality, draw engine, and to get your combo pieces, you want to get artifact ignition and artifact um, sanctum as quickly as possible. So. The 9 card draw engine is very, very important in this deck, so I let you artifacts. So you don't brick as well because that unbricks you. If you've got too many artifacts in hand, this fixes the hand and duality gets your stuff back out and card card D. Uh, it's your normal summon. Uh, of course, free ignition, free sanctum. Uh, two twin twisters. I was thinking of playing um, double cyclone, but I found it sometimes very dead against some decks that have no back row. So we just play two twin twisters, which is good. Uh, both ways, so you can pop two, or pop just uh, your own one, or pop two of your opponents. It's um, pop one of each. I mean, so that works as well. Pretty much double cycling, but you got to pitch a card. You lose one more card, but um, this is just more utility with this card. So just play two, and of course we play a lot of mirror forces in this deck. Main reason why is because the opponent rarely um, blind and misses your back row, and if they know what they're doing, they probably do it at the end of your turn. But it's still not safe because you still got sanctum and ignition that they have to watch out for. Uh, with two play two stormy mirror force, two quaking mirror force, and two normal mirror force. Um, most of the time, your opponent will assume you have artifacts if you're playing artifacts. So uh, they'll probably attack blindly, and then if they get mirror force, then they get mirror force. And that's the main strategy of the back row here. It's um, you just you can just hide mirror force within the artifacts, just conceal it. So play six <laughs> six styles of mirror force, just different one, different coverage and stuff. And the best trap cards right now is solemn strike, solemn warning, bottomless, very obvious. 
And the extra decks just pretty much rank 5, but we do play 2 play Hades and 2 Guy Dragon because you go into the second one quite often. I'm um, 7 for the play of these, and since we got a lot of uh, space, we can just put a uh, Frozen Lady of Justice because it pops defense position, monsters, and Mayo, Tiras, Adrius, and oh, um, we got S39 as well. Uh, you need 3 level 5 lights as well to make this. Um, it's a good option to go into because you can make it with artifacts because they're all lights. And anti burn rank five thingy and Vogue source combos with guy dragon and wonderendal only wonderendal um, sharp fortress and freezer down just in case uh, if you got a if you got a play ADs, that's just there and you just want to make a uh, just want to give play these extra materials so you touch off freezer down instead and that's all the uh, that's the extra that's the um, artifact deck then let's go and check out some of the replays I played today and uh, this morning uh, this is some really interesting one. Uh, I think we're playing as heroic champions here, uh, or uh, I mean maybe a utopia card, utopia that deck. Um, we drew two of the heroic challenge, that's all Harburg, and we just popped the uh, face down, which is torrential, and we did the draw engine, which is use cards from the sky, and used card cardy, so we uh, got a couple of cards, and we just popped the cards like recognition, and you can see here. At the beginning of the game, we usually want to set up Caducius and make sure it is chaining too. If you pop it with Bagel Attack, so you get to resolve and draw. Uh, card just to get someone into the field first. Uh, now we're just gonna deal with a bit more damage here. Uh, 3k plus whatever different size, 35 and Hades is your go to and um, rank 5 is the best one. And you got Challenger here, and then we're gonna pop it with a Moral Attack and draw a card at the same time. Uh, very nice. Uh, we plus so much already. And now Hades is just gonna remove the back row. Just be careful, and then the monster set. And we're just gonna kill their dudes. And they're in 100 left here. And we just put Drendel here because we have only one uh, concealed back row and they're all pretty much artifacts. So they just set their cards. I think I should have used uh, M7 here first, but it doesn't matter really. We got a uh, Drendel. So we just changed this effect to an MST effect and they pop a Labri. And that's pretty much game because we just attack for game. So that's one of the replays I played today. Um, that's one of the examples for this deck. Uh, you could just go typically into Caducius, it's a very good combo piece. Draw cards, draw cards, draw cards. And this is a game against Burning Abyss. We're very lucky here to get Twin Twisters because they have got the um, anti spell fragrance main deck for some reason. Uh, probably net decking. <sighs> and they, they're a bit, a, a bit stupid as well because the Twin Twisted are Sanctums and the Fail Nought. Uh, which means we pop their stuff. And they left with one card. <laughs> it's just a Rubik. At this point, we don't want to leave a rank free play here for them. Uh, we made a play these, which is a good answer to Dante. And they did top deck the Speedway Tarot Top. But I don't think it matters too much right now because we got a play Hades on board to so just make the Dante go away. Um, there you go, 2 5 damage. The deck is a bit slow at killing your opponent, but. Um, it should be alright because it's pretty much a control deck and a stun deck at the same time. We just have artifacts here and a bottomless. And bottomless sucks against BAs. And they've lost because they top deck, main deck, and spell fragrance, which uh, is okay against this deck. But um, the mistake with there was, I think, was the Twin Twisters on our back row. And I think I'm playing Iron Mage Plants here. So they start with their um, search for a terraforming, but they've set a card. I don't know what this What is it? Oh, it's uh, Dried Winds. You set 5. We didn't get any of our draw engine, unfortunately. We're just going to morale tap the uh, lone 5 because we don't want any of that happening. Let's hit for 2 1. Set one more artifact here. Now we got we got a Sanctum here, so and one more Bagel Attack in the deck. So this is why you play a second Bagel Attack, just in case you draw one of them. Of course, we're going to do Chain Link to Caducius here, so you get someone first and we get to draw. Now our. Um, Artifacts can't be destroyed or targeted by card effects, and I think they didn't read Aegis. I did explain in the chat here that that's the effect, that's why they couldn't target our dudes. And I think I could have gamed them here if I didn't burn them. Uh, I didn't read the cards as well. Uh, no one can read cards nowadays, including me. Let's hit for 2 6 here. Set some Solemn Strikes. Conceal a back row. And I think they summoned that so they can pop a Volcasaurus because they're quite low in life points. Without the field spell, they are probably dead at this point. There we go, oh my god, it's gonna pop our dude. We're just gonna set ignition here. Make sure a roast pit's just 
Um, let's mirror force that. Uh, set the bagel attack here. So now we've got the ignition bagel attack combo, which is great. So he's gonna at the end phase pop the bagel attack and set the okay, Kadukius the second one. And get the fail note and Kadukius to come back and set the moral attack back, I believe. And draw a card as well. It should be pretty much over because we got a rank 5 play coming in. Notice halfway through the game, sometimes these are dead, but it's not much of a problem if you've got control on the field. And if you don't, you can probably use them anyway. Uh, so there you go, that's the artifact deck. Only three replays for now because I'm trying to make uh, quick videos, so I'm probably going to put up a few more today. So once again, check it out on the Scrubbly website. You can check uh, a bigger and better, probably better description that's what I'm doing today here of this deck. Uh, you can also download this deck down the uh, description below. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, that's Artifacts for you and Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. Cheers.